remember to turn the mic on this time. What's up guys? How are you all doing? Welcome back to the live Let's Play. We are continuing... Let me just try this webcam so I'm not right. There we go. We're continuing on from the last Let's Play we did where we had like, I think it was like a 20 hour walkthrough of the main campaign. So we're going to be using the same character and we're going to go through the Dark Brotherhood now. So I'm really excited for this. I've been holding off on it, on it for a little while because I haven't had any internet at my current house. But I'm back home at the moment so I'll be able to stream this guys for you. So in this stream we'll be starting the Dark Brotherhood. Let's get right into it. The last stream of 2016 been such a great year. Here we go. Right, I can see the chat now. It took me a little while to set up because I had the screen at the wrong resolution. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go over and get the quest to start this. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child, wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha, then I'm right, I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Aventus is a rather twisted child, so let's break into his house and see what's actually going on here. I'm already I already have people in the chat asking me to kill Nazim. If you've watched the last two streams, you'll understand. <laughs> uh, we prob we've killed him in the last two streams due to popular demand. Are you playing hide and seek? Your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Don't worry, small child. I am here. Sweet mother, sweet. You've come at last. I knew you would. Are you okay? It worked. I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Yes, it's me, of course, the Black Sacrament. It took so long, so very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. How long was he just stabbing a knife into this dead body like the meat's already rotted away? What contract? My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the kind! So now we have to go to Riften. The Riften. Oh, Jesus Christ, Lydia! I'm, I swear to God, she just appeared in this doorway. Well, Lydia's going to come with us on this adventure for now. Come on, Lydia. Oh, maybe we can ask Lydia to assassinate her for us and see if she does it. Okay, so we've got to come over to Riften, just all the way in the southeast of the map. We, <laughs> I don't think we can torture her. It'd be funny if you could, though. There are some people you can torture later in the quest line. Look how foggy Rift that is, man. Jesus. So I do believe the orphanage is in this corner of the city just over here. Lydia coming? Yes, Lydia is just behind me. One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. This war is bad for business, Lydia. You're not lying. This is quite funny, so we're going to listen to this conversation. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, yes And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. 
why you will always be here until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Grilla. Thank, Thank you for your, for kindness. your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. What an absolute savage. Okay, Lydia, come here. Let's see if we can tell Lydia got your back. to actually yes, kill her. Then. What is it? I need you to do something. What do you need? Attack Grelog. Okay. She's actually doing it. Is someone Why there? are they hurting each other? Oh, okay. What is she doing? Was she run away? Lydia, Lydia didn't want to take. Okay, she's she's back. I'm getting out. Oh my god, Lydia! Oh my god, you absolute savage! Someone has killed Grillin. <laughs> Somebody's done it, but it definitely wasn't this warrior with a giant ebony shield here. She's got 15 gold and a book called The Pig Children. What's going on in here? I wonder if there's anything else we can loot or value. Like this cheese wedge. Lydia, you savage. You just brutally murdered that poor old woman. Look at this lady. <laughs> Lydia doesn't care. She's a savage. Lower the music volume. Okay, let me lower it one sec. I'll get OBS back up and I will increase my speaking volume. So you guys can still hear it. All right, audio. I put that up to nine. Okay, that should be a bit louder. Hopefully. Right, so now we've killed her. We have to go and sleep anywhere. Or actually, I think we have to wait for a courier to come. Oh no, first we have to go back to Windtown. And then we have to give in the quest to say that we've assassinated that basically innocent lady that just a child didn't like very much. And then we're going to get a courier who's going to come visit us. But first, we must go and speak to this child. Hello there. Well, Grohod the Kind. Is she, you know... We savagely murdered her. Uh -huh. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. Actually, knew it was that Lydia. Would save me. Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. Lydia is such a badass, man. Okay, are you done talking? Okay, he's given me his family heirloom, which is basically the most worth like, just a plate worth a hundred gold. You can take your plate back, you idiot. Give me your family heirloom. <laughs> take this back, child. <laughs> Alright, let's go back outside, and now we just need to find an inn to sleep in. There should be one around here somewhere. I believe there's one in the centre just as you come in the city gates. So we can go here and just sleep at this local inn. And we're just going to wait until the courier comes. Oh, some funny stuff is going on in the chat there. Where is the innkeeper? I'd like to buy a room, but she's gone to bed already. I guess it is like... It's 4am in the morning. Should we just wake her up from her sleep? There's someone sleeping next to the fire. Name's Nils. I'm the cook up at Candleheart Hall. Oh, okay, you're a cook. And you just sleep on the floor here, do you? This lady is the one who... Sure thing. Okay, now we've got a room and go to sleep. I'm mostly just doing this for the 10% experience boost. Enjoy your stay. I hope that this uh, courier isn't bugged, because sometimes it can take him a little while to show up. Hmm, we might have to play the waiting game, guys. <laughs> so if I go to White Run. And then I just wait there for 24 hours. Actually, we'll wait here for 24 hours. And then we'll go to Whiterun. And meanwhile, I'll just answer questions in the chat. Kill Nazim for the 538th time. <laughs> Poor Nazim. What do we all have against Nazim? Well, to be honest, we all hate her. He's a bit of a stuck up. You don't... You don't need the courier to come. I'm pretty sure you do. 
Because that's how you proceed the quest. Because you get the letter from the Dark Brotherhood. Or at least that's how I've always done it. What? Look, <laughs> did you see how that guy was walking? News. I'm the cook of the I know you told me that last night at five in the morning. Okay, now let's go turn up the brightness. Oh, I'm not going to mess around with the brightness because I've got this EMB mod on and it makes caves really dark. And night times are quite dark. So basically I'll just keep waiting so we're always playing at the daytime. I'll wait another 24 hours here and hopefully he'll show up. Kill Lydia? No! We can't kill Astrid because she's, she's the main person we need to talk to. I already did a, a video where we killed the Dark Brotherhood. We might kill Cicero, but that's going to be a lot later on. <laughs> we could kill some random NPCs as we go along. Ah, oh, here he is. I've been looking for you. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. There we go, guys. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Thank you very much. From who? Don't know. Creepy fellow, black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that in your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you very much for your mysterious note. And it's just got a black hand saying, We know. That black hand is actually based on the hierarchy of the Dark Brotherhood. Like, each finger counts as a listener, and then the thumb counts as something else. I can't remember all the different positions, but I'm sure it will explain it as we go on. So now we just need to go out to the inn and sleep one hour, and we'll get transported... Or we'll get abducted, basically. So let's... If it's 10 gold for sure another room, please. For I remember sure when I first started playing this game, I was so, like, stingy with my gold. I wouldn't spend a penny on a room. I'd rather find, like, a tent or, like, a, a beggar's alleyway to sleep in. So we've been kidnapped now into an abandoned hut in the middle of nowhere. And this is Astrid. Sleep well. <laughs> you are watching me sleep? Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelard, hmm? You know about that. Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. A problem? I don't think I like where this is going. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Oh, you want me to murder someone else then? Because we like doing that. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see... There's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. I'm such a legend. Alright, I'll do it. I'll kill one of them. Now I'm just gonna remain silent. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. I prefer a bow myself. So, who do we have here? Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Ah, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk, hmm? Would somebody pay to have you killed? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? 
so we can persuade him or intimidate him. So I'm going to persuade him. Come on, you can tell me. <laughs> the real question is, would someone pay to have me killed again? <laughs> A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Who are you? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. I don't really think you're in the position to say that. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not hunt you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. Win-win situation, brah. Now, one of the things they actually added in Skyrim Special Edition that you couldn't get in the previous game is the Executioner's Hood. This guy was actually a Khajiit. I've killed one of my own. <laughs> but if you look, they've added... So you can now pick up the Executioner's Hood and just walk around like this. <laughs> What's happening? Damn it, what are you doing? Get these things off of me. I wonder if I can pickpocket it off her so she can see. No, I can't. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here. Cowards. So, stealing a woman from her home for shame. Would somebody pay to have you killed, Alia? Excuse me. What kind of question is that? It's all right. Just tell me what I need to know. I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. I don't have the time or the patience to be nice. Do some people look down on me? Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. Who are you? None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to... Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. That'd be quite difficult, because I'm also wearing the same hood. For this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here! Ah. <laughs> Oh God, please, let me live. I'll do anything you want. Oh, burn them with fire. That's a good idea, King Sloth. Let's get out. We're not even using destruction magic, but that'll be pretty hilarious. Okay. Oh, we could use the unrelenting force shout on them. That's an even better idea. What should we use on them, though? I think unrelenting force shout will burn them. So, say burn if you want me to burn them, or unrelenting force shout if you want me to shout them. I... I can hear you talking out there. Please, let me go. Would somebody pay to have to you. you killed, though? What? Oh, God. I don't want to die. There's loads of people saying, oh my God. Lots of people are saying burn. I see more burns than shout, so I think we'll be setting fire to him. Okay, don't be afraid. No, answer me or die. Please, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a soldier. I've killed people when I was ordered to. Maybe there was some times. Sometimes I got carried away. But uh, war is war, right? Nobody could blame me for that, could they? Who are you? My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? You can't have a cowardly Nord. This guy's gonna get burned alive. Right, let's let's see what uh, destruction powers we actually have. We have flames. That's all we need. Boom! Death by fire. Absolute savage. We'll take the executioner's hood from his corpse as well. He's still burning there on the floor. <laughs> okay, Astrid. Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Three possibilities. Three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? So who was it? Who had the contract? 
That would be very- if we said you told me to kill and I killed, that would be very assassiny, wouldn't it? Say that. Indeed. For you, my friend, seem to understand what's truly important. When I give an order to spill blood, you follow it. No questions, no remorse. So I'm free to go? Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. Oh, Astrid. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in. And your new life begins. I'll see you at home. So quite a lot of people are telling me in the comments to pickpocket her, but you can only pickpocket... Well, basically, I'll explain it. So if you have the pickpocketing skill, um, which I think... I can't remember what it's called, actually. It's... Um, okay, pickpocket equipped weapons. If you have misdirection as a perk, and then you can pickpocket Astrid, and you can actually take the Blade of Woe, which is a unique weapon from her body, and you can do that right now, and then she'll actually give you another one at the end of the Dark Brotherhood questline. We're not going to kill her, though, because we want to do the questline. We, that's the whole point of this Let's Play. <laughs> so many people asking me to kill her. Her husband is indeed a dog. Okay, so now we're outside, and this is actually right next to Solitude, just over here. She wants me to go to Falkreath, though. I don't even know if we've discovered Falkreath. Yeah, we have. So, the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary is just over here. Can't fast travel when enemies... Lydia! <laughs> she was just standing outside that shack that whole time and didn't, didn't think to save me. Okay, let's... Um, oh, I'll put my flame spells away now. We'll make our way to Solitude, where there are no enemies, and then we can, um... I really just want to kill this deer, if I'm honest. Yes! I just realised I've still got the Executioner hood on me. <laughs> Is that not just the scariest thing ever, though? I love the fact that they made it so you could wear it. So what enemies are near me? I can't see any. Okay, we'll run over here, and... Hopefully then we'll be able to fast travel again. I will be doing a Dawn Guard walkthrough, a Companions Guild walkthrough, Mages Guild walkthrough. I'll be doing every single guild walkthrough in Skyrim. So we can fast travel now. So I'm going to go down to Falkreath just here on the map. If you've not been here before, just take the carriage outside of Whiterun. <laughs> Was there a dragon? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Oh my god, we're having a party here. Jesus. Okay, yeah, let's get on the horse. I don't even remember having this horse. What is going on? There's so many people. I've never seen this many people in Falkreath in my life. Even the, There's even a farmyard animal there. This is crazy. Oh, okay, that's not the way out of the city. Get out of my way, wheelbarrow. So, the sanctuary is over there in the distance, so let's head over there into the forest of Falkreath. Falkreath is quite a beautiful area of Skyrim, actually. I quite like the, the woodland areas of the of the different holds. But, um, this is a graveyard. I wonder if we can just get through here. I should really take off this hood now, because it's starting to just annoy me. I prefer it when I can see my Khajiit ears. So, let's put on my circlet of gives me more bow damage and um, the sanctuary is just here you can actually see the door just behind that tree all right I'll leave my horse here hopefully it won't get brutally murdered and we'll go inside the sanctuary and begin the quest line of becoming an assassin before I go in though they've actually added a dark brotherhood quest line on ESO and it's, it's really cool I've played like <laughs> And you can now reply, and we—you only know the answer if um, you've you've spoken to Astrid. 
<laughs> some kind of choir with chanting? Screaming? Silence, my brother, is the correct answer. I just wish they used that voice more, because it's such an awesome voice. Okay, so let's go inside, and we should find Astrid just chilling out against this wall over here. Ah, uh, at last. I hope you found the place all right. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Looks a bit like a Nordic tomb, doesn't it? When do I get to kill somebody? <laughs> Soon, my dearest. Soon. I'm arranging a job for you, but I need some more time. For now, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. Yes! May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Finally! Completed friends like these. So now we're a member of the Dark Brotherhood. And she's given us the uh, Dark Brotherhood Shrouded Armor. Which is a rare set of armor with some very good enchantments for my character. So I'll show you it in a second, but... We can ask her about the rules of the Dark Brotherhood, because that's quite interesting. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Can you tell me about yourself? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood, and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. <laughs> Probably Esbaham was the un creepy uncle trying to make advances on her. Astrid was too kinky, so she killed him. What if I get caught killing somebody? They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. So, yeah, I accidentally asked where the contracts came from instead of, um, what if I get caught killing someone? Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously. But you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell or pay your bounty. Yeah, but we know this. There is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften. Okay, so who is the Night Mother, Astrid? The Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void. She goes by many names. Ages past. Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. 
an ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's been brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. So the night so the night mother's being brought here. Yes. A few months ago I received word from the night mother's keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The night mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the night mother here. Soon. Dun dun dun! Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. <laughs> Let's go and meet the fam and talk to Nazir. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> no bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. <laughs> Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> so much banter in this. I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we can talk to Nazir. Nazir. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. Heard about what happened. I've heard quite a bit about you. You must be talking about the caravan. It's a pleasure to meet you. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Okay then. Astrid said you have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. So, we can get some training in light arm from him as well. But we're going to ask him about these contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Started contract! Right, okay then. Go on now. Alright, I'm going man, Jesus. So, we have to kill three people. This is gonna be fun. Let's go and kill some people. Um, you can pickpocket Astrid's dagger at any point while she's in this I'm sanctuary as well, guys. You just need that perk I mentioned earlier, just so you know that. There, actually, there is a shout on this wall that I've also forgot to pick up. 
Uh, someone just reminded me in the chat, so thanks for that. Uh, it's The wall's just over here, so make sure you grab this. You'll come across it sooner or later anyway when you come back. Kill marked for death. So basically that shout will reduce your opponent's armor. And as you unlock the more, more uh, words of power for that shout, I think there's three in total, you can reduce your target's armor quite a lot and do a lot of extra damage to them. Yeah, I will show you guys the armor now. Don't worry, man. So let's have a look at our new armor. Here we go. Shrouded armor. Increases poison resistance by 50%. 46 armor rating. This has 42 armor. So it's actually better than elven armor. And it's enchanted. Not a very good enchantment though. Uh, the boots, which muffles your, your movement slightly. Really, really good. Definitely put those on. Shrouded hood. Those do 20% more damage. That looks like this. Personally, I've already... It gives me more armor... But I've already got a circlet that gives me plus 25% damage. And I can also see my ears with this. And I think it looks cooler. So I'm going to be wearing that personally. Um, then we've got the gloves. And this makes backstabs do double damage. Which is just ridiculously powerful. So now they do... If I have a look at my perk tree quickly. I believe we have the sneak. Yeah, so we have the backstab perk. 15 times normal damage and then just double it, instantly killing most things now. Which is really good. We kind of want that for this Assassin's Let's Play. So now let's go and have a look on the map at where all of these locations are. And if we've... Okay, so we can take a carriage to Dawnstar to kill her. This guy is in the middle of nowhere. And then we've got one at Iverstead. So let's go and kill him first. I can't remember who these people are. But um, they seem to be like innocent NPCs. I wonder why they want them dead. I do believe that I could have asked Nazir about the contracts, but I kind of missed out on that. So next time we'll do that, but um, I, you guys can do it yourself as well. I'm going to wait until daytime, because like, like I said, this EMB makes it really dark. So I'm just going to like play most of the game. I've been looking for you. Oh, hello. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. What is it? Let's see here. Oh, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage at Riften me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Oh my god, that's the person we killed in Riften then. So she sent us a note. Uh, okay, that's going to be in books, isn't it? Consider adoption. Oh, of course. So basically, you've got the Hearthfire DLC. If you assassinate the lady who is in charge of it, then everyone will have to, you know, get adopted because there's no one to take charge of the orphanage anymore because you killed them. So you can basically go there and adopt a child now. But we're not going to do that. We're going to sack that right off. So let's find the first person. I think it would be quite funny if we talked to them before killing them. <laughs> They're actually in this burned down house here. This must have been their old house maybe oh okay it's a beggar drop an apple on their head to wake them up a da who are you what do you want sounds like he's hiding your pathetic existence has come to an end beg beg for your miserable life no oh by the gods please no i'll live to drink another day okay he's not even running run from me what is he doing? <laughs> He's trying to escape. <laughs> oh my god. I got 40 bounty for that. That's so annoying. <laughs> Give me your alcohol and my arrows back. Oh no, the Imperial Guards are coming for me. Lydia, run! They've seen me commit crimes against Skyrim and her people. Who's that over there? Is that the courier? Who is that guy? I really want to shoot him in the head and see what happens. But at the same time, you want to fast travel. Now we're going to shoot him. Oh, it is the courier, because he didn't die. Last mistake. I just want to fast travel now, so I'm going to walk away. I kind of wish that you could kill him. Maybe, maybe Lydia will finish him off for us. 
Oh, my sneak skill increased. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so our next place is in Dawnstar. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and kill this other guy uh, who's near Windhelm. And then, yeah, we'll kill him near Windhelm. So we'll go to the stables. I do believe that this is at, like, some kind of farm or a mill, maybe. I, you know, I can't, like, the reason I left this Let's Play so long... Lydia, what the bloody hell are you doing to me? <laughs> the reason I left this Let's Play so long is so... Where's my horse gone? You be careful, Lydia. How rude. Yeah, the reason I left the Let's Play so long is so I didn't really remember the quest line. And, like, partly it would just be fun for me to replay it for you. So, like, you know, I can't remember everything that happens. And that's why I want it to be a bit more like that, because um, sometimes when I do my location Let's Plays and I just do them blind, it's a lot funner, because, like, then you get sort of more genuine reactions to... Oh, bloody Ice Wolves. I didn't know they were Ice Wolves. What difficulty are we on? I'm pretty sure we... I want to be on at least Expert. Oh, my God, we're on Novice. Okay, let's turn that up to Expert. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, the ice wolves are dead anyway. I was like, these are ice wolves. I was a little bit worried. And then they I'm went down in two hits. So I was thinking, ah, oh, well, that was a bit easy. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I thought that was my horse. People do like me to play on Master Difficulty, but I find it just turns all the enemies into bullet sponges. Let's kill this goat. And you just can't kill, like, well, it just takes ages to play the game. And I just want it to be like a fun let's... What the fuck was that? <laughs> that didn't work as intended. This one's going to hit, surely. There we go. I don't know if I can hit the other one from here. I think he's just gone over that hill. See if we can catch up. Oh, there's a dragon there. Maybe I can get the dragon to assassinate this uh, next person for me. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> that was awesome! That was insanely good. Okay. Hello there, friend. I'm lucky for you to chance upon a bard on the road. Look at how blue his eyes are. They're <laughs> creepy as hell. Right, we're gonna try out our new our new dagger. See if we can instantly kill this guy. Right, let's sneaky sneak him. Oh yes, it works! We just do so much damage now, it's insane. Orcish. He had an orcish sword. Like, he must have been, um. Pretty well. Oh my god. Plus 30 speech graph. That's insane for, like, selling things. Immortal Blood. Really good book about vampires. Killing before you're killed. I don't, I don't remember this one. Oh, okay. It's a book about how to fight, basically. But it makes it look. I've got a uh, book cover mod on. Potion of Invi Invisibility. This guy has the perfect equipment for an assassin. I don't really want to equip my flame spells anymore. I'm going to take that off. And we're going to... Oh, no, I want my bow back, don't I? Actually, no, let's try and stab this person. So, I think this mill is just over this river here, guys. Just up the hill. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I used to be a goat like you, then I took an arrow to the knee. Paladin Gaming says that. That was funny. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, is it Lydia? No, someone's wo chopping wood. I didn't even see that guy there. He's like camouflaged. So that's the wood mills. It must be really close to where I am right now. Just above this hill, maybe. Oh, it's an old commander. Are they, like, cowering in fear? I'm just going to save the game here. Oh, no, it's just someone in a tent. These people have all, like... Why are you here? Get away from me. Clearly on the run. What was that? Oh, my God! Oh, my... <laughs> Jesus, a dragon has come out of nowhere. Right, Lydia. I th Literally, the dragon almost assassinated my target for me. Let's get my uh, bow out. I, lucky I saved the game yeah, there. We could have potentially died. I'm just going to leave him alive and see if he dies or not. I'm quite interested. He's on full health still. 
Hey, okay, now he's dead. I want to loot his corpse and see, see if he's got uh, any information. No, no, we don't know why we had to kill him. Oh, there's a secret little um, den down here. Maybe he was... Maybe he murdered this person here. Nine gold. And there's, there's a lockbox here. A secret little lockbox. Let's have a look. I don't know why I went into sneak mode there. I feel like, you know, someone could have seen me lockpicking it, maybe. Come on. Okay, it's just around here, then. Oh, it was so close. Oh, yeah, there we go. Done it. Lock picking seal gone up to 38. Not that it ever helps me. Oh, this is a named dragon. So this is one that, um... One of the dragons you need to wipe out that... What's his name? Alduin restored from the main quest line. Lydia's actually, like, fucking solo in this dragon, guys. I'm a bit... Oh my god, Lydia. What's going on over there? I'm a bit worried for you. There's not going to be many people left at this farm. That's for sure. My Khajiit fur isn't a big fan of fire, so I'm trying to avoid this dragon where possible. Ah! Where is he? This must be a level dragon, because he's not particularly fierce. I hope Lydia's not, like, down or dead. Okay, the dragon's over there. Someone's hitting the dragon, because it's losing health. What is it attacking over there, I wonder? This is the problem. After you do the main quest line, it increases the chance of dragon spawning by a good sort of like 50%. That didn't hit it. Well, no, sorry, it's like 300% increased chance of dragon spawning. So it's um, kind of brutal. Oh, it's going to have to land now, so that's good. It should crash land. Yeah, it's, okay, it's crash land over there. Let's go take it out. Oh, guys, we should use the Mark for Death shout on it, because that's going to be uh, really helpful right now. Yeah, I've got four Dragon Souls. We're going to learn that. It's definitely worth knowing this shout. Because it really does help wreck dragons if you're an archer. Dragons have a pretty high armor. Here he comes. I don't even know if that fired it, because... I couldn't see it against the actual fire of the dragon. Oh, okay, this is getting close. Oh, that was very close. Hopefully we have some form of health potion here. Uh, 100 points of health. Don't actually know how much health I have. Yeah, that's going to restore quite a bit, though. See how much more damage I'm doing to it after I use that Mark of the Death fish out on it. Really did help me out there. Okay, we've got seven arrows back. Pretty sure I fired like 50 arrows into it, but cool beans. I'm going to wait until I absorb its soul, and then we'll go to the next location, which is Dawnstar. So to get to Dawnstar, I'm just going to fast travel outside Windhelm again, and then I'm going to get the carriage. Have we absorbed its soul? Yeah, there we go. Right. Accidentally drinks poison. <laughs> That would be funny. It would be, it'd be even funnier if you could actually do that. You know, I really like Sky Alchemy in Skyrim, but I do feel like if you guys have played The Witcher 3, I did play it for a little bit, but I didn't really have time to play it very much. That game did Alchemy right. Okay, there he is. I was wondering, there's my horse as well. I didn't even realize it was there. Hmm? This guy's just got like frostbite or something. Where do you want to go? Okay, I want to go to Dawnstar. We'll be off. Oh yeah, I've got climb the back of a carriage. Are you coming along then, Lydia? I wish Lydia would also climb in the back. It would be so much like... You can fit. She just stands there, though. It'd be better if she could, like, climb in the back as well. There's actually a carriage mod, I think, that um, allow makes it... It was in the original Skyrim, anyway. I know it did exist as a mod. I don't know about Special Edition. This is Skyrim Special Edition, by the way, guys. Um... But it used to be a mod where you'd get in the back of a carriage 
and you could either choose to skip the uh, carriage going to the location like it already does or you could um oh this is going to be a cool one guys we're going to jump on the roof of this house here and we're going to like just assassinate her in the darkness don't know where lydia is she's just a miner oh she's the owner of the mine so i reckon her like colleagues must hate her or something but yeah the uh, carriage mod used to be like it would actually take you from white run all the way to solitude and you could just enjoy the view okay we're gonna murder her on this beachfront <laughs> oh get wrecked son no one's even bad as an eyelid oh okay that guard has what a sick little way to assassinate someone there's enemies are nearby. People are looking for me. Oh, Lydia's going to get in combat. Okay, Lydia's getting four. I wonder if we can escape, though. I want to escape and just fast travel, if I'm honest. Is there anyone... She must be... Oh, I would have thought... She has a house. Yo, let's find her house and see if she has anything good. And she has a silver ring. Okay, it wasn't all bad. But we're gonna rob her before we leave. It it does do the carriage thing, it was just a mod that did it. That's her house. I was standing on top of her house when I killed her. Are you kidding? Oh, there's a soldier just there. I'm just gonna go sleep in her bed now. There we go, we're, we're, we're uh, getting into a house then. We're gonna go rob her. Lydia will be fine, man. She'll probably like, as long as she doesn't follow me in here. So we both get attacked. Who's this? You're not supposed to be in here. Who, is this, is this a... Are we in the right person's, we're not in the right person's house, are we? This is not I'm the not... person we killed. I'll kill you if I have to. <laughs> worst. I was like, who's this? They, they both began with a B, so I was like, okay, it must be her house. Hmm. Is that house, like, over here? Her house must be, like, that one over there. And the house must be here somewhere. Yeah, it must be that one, is it? Why does the map load so slowly? It might just be that we have to fast travel, because I'd rather not get detected by one of the guards. Okay, we can fast travel now, so it's all good. I don't know what happened to Lydia. She usually turns up later. Okay, this isn't the right person's house either. Some, someone's trying to tell me where it is. She's at the iron mine. So it's just a key to the mine. This is the iron mine over here, isn't it? She should be over there. Okay, I, I've got a new route to take then. It's actually also, this guy here will take you to other locations. He's kind of like a taxi. Um, a boat taxi, though. Not many people use him because no one really knows he exists. I wish there was a way like um, Skyrim survival mode or something that they could add. So I'm guessing this must be her house. Um, that was a bit like Fallout that made the game harder and you couldn't fast travel or something. No, this isn't her house either. Okay, what's that? What quest was it? Okay, so this was... Aetild, or whatever her name is. Hmm. Where? I thought that was her house again. Oh, it's... Okay, it's there. It's there. Got it. Let me show where that is. Over here. Great, okay. I've walked past our house twice, guys. I'm so sorry. We're going back to our house now. To rob it. Is this one just here? Alright then. There we go. That's... <laughs> the first giveaway should have been that I was lockpicking her house. She's got a cowhide. Uh, I don't know why I took the kettle. Oh, she does have a little bit of gold. What was that like? Okay, about 30 gold there that I took. This person is actually poor. She runs a mine, but she's poor. Ah, oh, god damn it. That really wasn't worth it. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's go over to 
we've killed everyone now, so we'll go back to the Dark Brotherhood. Just here. And we'll return all of these contracts and get all of the money in the world. I wish we could hear the voice of that door every time we opened it. It's so satisfying. So, it's, as you can see guys, when you've assassinated someone at a location, a new dagger appears. I'll show you- but the Night oh. Mother is mother to all! It is her voice we follow, her will! Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely... punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake, I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Come now, ah, there you are. Else is Good. You can't I was done prove. speaking with that muttering fool oh, anyway. You mean in that We've got some business to discuss. Do you have a contract for me, Astrid? <laughs> I love Cicero, I just think he makes the Dark Brotherhood campaign. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the Hag's Cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth, wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. They always are. Morning never comes. I remember this being a good one. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of those. You can hand those into Nazir, get paid, and he'll give you three more. As you progress the quest line, he gives you, like, more contracts to do. But we're going to... I might do a whole other video on that. We just want to, like, continue with the main campaign for now. So we're going to go and talk to her, and she is... I think she's had Markov. Um, yeah. So we've discovered the stables, but apparently not the city yet. I actually, I want to show you something else cool at that location. I'm just trying to imagine you hiding inside the body of a mammoth. Bloody... Brilliant idea. Let that be a lesson to you, young pups. There is no challenge that magic cannot overcome. And I said to the pig, you're a dead, you're a faker. But if that's your wish, I'll oblige. <laughs> it's so, like, if you just hang around in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and listen to the conversation, you will hear some uh, funny stuff. Hello, hello! So very good to meet you! It's good to meet you too, Cicero! So polite, so nice! Cicero likes you! The Night Mother is sure to like you too! Oh, we're going to be fast friends! Fast friends! He's so creepy! Why did you come to the Sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... Desecrated! The Imperial province is ravaged by strife! Nowhere there is safe! At present! So Cicero brought our lady to her new home! Here! This is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see? Such was my honor! As Keeper! 
There's actually a plot in the, f uh, sorry, a flaw in the plot there, but not many people have probably noticed it. So, what are the duties of a keeper? Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body, oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Who is the Night Mother? Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Tell me about Sithis. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space. Or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. Creepy. He is the void. That was a pretty solid description of Sithis there. <laughs> there are some good Cicero impressions going on in the comment section. What can you tell me about yourself, Cicero? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. Look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh no, <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her say the word. <laughs> <laughs> what a creeper. Okay, so the listener. What is a listener? Oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head... I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our lady has not chosen Cicero. And certainly not Astrid. Or anyone. But someday. Poor Cicero. The keeper of the Night Mother. Farewell, farewell. And nobody wants to listen. Okay, so let's actually go and proceed with this quest, guys. I prefer to stream on YouTube compared to Twitch. It's a lot easier for most people to watch. But, um, okay, so we're going to go to Markov. I can't remember the name of this quest. Something till morning? Cold till. I'll, I'll check the name before we go. But it is. I remember it being fun. So here we go. Let's have a look. Morning never comes. Here we go. And I, I'm going to show you something cool now. So if you come into the city, uh, is the first time you come into Markov. There's actually a little thing you can do. Because someone is going to be assassinated. And obviously, I've walked in the city a hundred times for the first time. So you can actually kill them before they get assassinated, like so. There we go. We saved her life. By the divines, the Forsworn are here in the city. Everyone stay back. The Markor city guard have this all under control. There are no Forsworn here. So we basically just saved this lady's life. From this savage man who wields a carrot. Seven gold and a lockpick. So here we go and talk to her now. By the gods, that man nearly killed me. He yeah. saved my life. Body to get rid of. Thank you. Here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. Do you know why he was all well we can this is another quest line, but she's just given me oh god. She's just given me a me. amulet. Uh, let's have a look at that amulet. I think it was just a silver emerald necklace worth 830 gold. Wasn't that? 
Yeah, so it's just a necklace, but um, it's worth gold, and you can just get it like that. It's pretty cool. They say if a vampire so much. Right, so I think this lady. Let's have a look where she actually is in Markov. Looks like she's near the mine. All right, we'll go round then. Oh, here she is. Okay, she's having trouble walking down those stairs just there. Why are you looking at me like that? Why am to your eyes, man? Jesus. The Dark Brotherhood has come. The Dark Brotherhood. Oh, oh. I... My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked. Obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need. What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I'll need more to go on than that. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Rald with our. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. It will be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. <laughs> Thomas says, she sees your soul. I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. This lady is savage. She hates everyone in Skyrim from, like, west to east. Tell me the full story. Why do you want to lay dead? I went to Windhelm to see the Shadow Shields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful Lily of his dreams. He lied. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of monster. Elaine Dufont took my life. And now I'm taking his. She's a white walker. <laughs> well, that's so funny. And this lean scatter shield. What must... Why must she die? Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova. A sister to Nelsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence. No matter what I say. So we should kill them, right? Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No. They treated me like garbage. Threw me away. With me seen dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? I don't think so. Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. This lady is a savage. Is there anything else? I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine, too. Lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Just coat your weapon with it. Then... You get the idea. Lotus extract. She's you giving me two insta kill poisons, guys. Insta kill. Okay, let's have a look at these. Lotus extract. Causes six points of poison damage for ten seconds, so sixty damage, right? Uh Lotus Extract isn't that good. Let's go to Windhelm first, and then we can work our way into the mountains. Why do I have to stop saying savage, man? She is a savage. Oh. Jesus Christ, Lydia, stop that. Okay, so we've got to go to the Shatter Shield's house and murder this lady in her sleep. Or we could just do it in the middle of the market here. I've been a bit out of sorts. What? Did you need something? 
She's quite unhappy. <laughs> Do you hear that? The sound of your sister screaming in the void? What kind of cruel, horrible person are you? My sister was murdered. Do you have any idea what that's like? <laughs> what I'm going through? <laughs> okay. I have nothing to say to you. Just leave me alone. Oh. So we're going to have to wait until night time when she's in a house, I think. And then we'll break in and kill her. <laughs> I am, I definitely am. You're Your right. Own Frost farm out Hello there. Who is this young Chuck? <laughs> he also has um, white walker eyes. It's honest work. Okay, she's it's in at... Oh, what's it? She doesn't seem to have got very far in those seven hours we waited. Okay, she should be in a house now. Um, could be over there. All right, go over here. Oh, okay. Got caught in a tanning rack there. Difficulties. Oh, she's in the morgue. I think this is the Windtown Morgue. Hall of the Dead. Yeah, it is. Okay, guys. Here we go. <gasps> she's okay. Okay, wait. Need to do this quickly. Time is off the essence. Um, poisons, poisons, potions. Lotus extract use, yes. Don't mind me, I'm just going in to check on... Oh my god, Jesus! Oh my, she's twitching. Good god. What a savage way to die. She's got a silver garnet ring, I'll take that. Right, we should probably put her body in the Hall of the Dead, though. It was kind of convenient that she came here. It's like she knew she was going to die. Oh, I can't be asked to take it all the way downstairs. Maybe I'll actually leave it at the top of the stairs. Oh, we can throw it. That's a good idea. Throw it downstairs here. Yes. Where's the Hall of the Dead? Is that it? Is this where the dead... No, that's not the, where the dead go. We'll just throw it through this doorway and I'll consider my work here done. <laughs> throw this corpse down the stairs and we'll let them I mean they'll probably see it when they return to work in the morning and they can just clean up this mess and there you go I've done half their job for them what do you think of that Lydia that's what you should be doing for me all right let's go and kill the next person <laughs> somebody told me to teabag her in the comments <laughs> that's hilarious Jim, you absolute savage. That savage spam is on fleek. Right, so we have to go over here uh, to kill Elaine. So Elaine sounds like a girl's name to me. Am I the only person who thinks that? Hopefully we can work our way up that mountain there. So we're going to wait until morning now so we can see what we're doing. You can use the jarring root recipe, but we'll talk about that later, guys. Because that happens later on in the quest line. One more hour. It's a little bit lighter now. Swimming in my wetsuit looking armor. Shrouded armor is very tight, isn't it? Quite revealing. Is it it's a transgender name I've been told, okay? Great. Take a horse. Yeah, I should have taken a horse. That's right. A bit late for that now, though. Because the, the video is a bit delayed, so you guys are seeing what happens a bit after I do it. We can see the ruin, though. It's not far away. And who doesn't like killing foxes in the wilderness? Horse one boat. Look at this fox. That has no idea. <laughs> so funny. Killing wild animals. Oh, a goat. Oh, I I got a better idea. It's near a cliff. You know what that means. <laughs> oh, there's two goats here, guys. <laughs> two goats. Whoosh! Yep, line yourself up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. This goat's still alive. It's still going. Oh, no, it died. <laughs> that was... Why does this goat have two garnets on it? It's the most valuable goat in all of... I got four. I literally got a few hundred gold for killing two goats. I had eaten two like rubies. That's ridiculously good. Oh, what's this? It's a Dover rabbit. A very rare rabbit. Just get this, guys. Oh, I've missed. 
It's escaping, Lydia. It's too it's too rapid for me. What the hell? There's a bear chasing a rabbit. This thing can actually fight, so let's kill it. How am I not hitting you? That should definitely be hitting, right? Okay, that hit you. Surely, come on. There we go, that's hitting you in the face. All these sneak attacks are just wrecking you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Bear. Thank you for running over here so I can get some arrows back. I appears to be up this hill, then. That rabbit's still running. No, no, it's stopped. It's stopped. We've got this. We've got this, guys. Oh! Oh, my God! Jesus. Look at that. Rabbit on a stick, anyone? I'll take that raw rabbit leg. Don't mess with the bear. The bear has been destroyed. Okay, I can see it at the top there. Oh, there's a mountain troll. Lydia, get ready. Get ready, Lydia. I hope she is behind me because this... Oh, that's what. That's how much damage a sneak attack does. We're going to have a hard time, Lydia. Oh, Lydia! Oh, bloody hell, I almost killed her. Jesus. Lydia, stop standing in the way. I should be able to sneak attack this thing to death then. Look how tanky it is. Oh, yeah, that's right, get wrecked. Worth. I don't even know what Lydia said there. I think she just apologised because she got in the way of my shooting. Really? Really? Oh, it's one of these mountains, is it? Is that the game we're playing today? You're going to have to make me jump up one of these mountains. Not what I wanted to be doing. What is that? It looks like there's something down there. Oh, goodness sake. I've clearly gone the wrong way around this mountain. Teabag the troll. What is your obsession with that? Clearly there are a lot of um, Halo players here. That was like the thing in Halo, wasn't it? The first game to invent a crouch pretty much had had that coming with it, didn't it? Oh my days, I've got to go all the way around. 3% accuracy, is that my accuracy with the bow? That's pretty tragic, isn't it? We could do the more. Oh, here we go. Here's the entrance, guys. We're all good. Oh, another fox. Hello there, young chuck. Goodbye there, young chuck. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. <laughs> the live stream of a savage. I should just have t-shirts that say savage on that everyone can wear. Actually, talking about t-shirts, I'm still working on the logo. The company I'm working with is so, so slow. I'm just tempted to Photoshop it myself if I had the time. This guy over here, he's pretty sure he's seen something. He's not quite sure. So he's going to put his bow away, get out again, have another look. Maybe arrow to the face. Still not sure. Maybe his friend's going to come over now and check, see what's going on. Oh, hello. This person's seen Lydia. Oh, there's, there's a tree there. A car. Is, she sh is he shooting me? He's shooting Lydia, isn't he? How am I missing this? God damn my 3% accuracy. Oh, Lydia, you savage. Kill that bandit. Oh, yeah. Just got that recoil on her so she couldn't even hit Lydia. It was really weird. Lydia was, like, flexing her muscles. Um, why? While I was shooting these guys. I don't know why she was doing it. She always does that. She's a weirdo. Ah, some iron arrows. I need this. I do believe there was a chest outside this location, but I can't actually remember. And I'm not going to check. We're just going to go right on inside. That's the name of the location. Check it. Oh, hey, Lydia. Why are you posing like that? Lydia's ready for her photo shoot. Let me stand like this. Oh, there's definitely a trap there. Oh, one sec. These bandits are... Oh, he's getting up. He's getting up. He knows. He knows. He's heard something. He's an orc. We shouldn't mess around with him. The bandit thug. <laughs> Throw your sword on the ground there. Anyone up for a cooked skeever? Oh, one sec. Oh, they're just dwarven metal. 
it weighs 25 but it also is worth 25 gold it's definitely not worth it unless you're going to like transmute it or something oh did the flame literally oh <laughs> well done Lydia well done the flame stopped for me to pass and then they reactivated on Lydia's face so that's the guy we're killing and I want to see if we nope I want to see if we can um, kill him with opening this gate. I'm just going to apply the poison, kill him, and just leave. And be like, see you, bro. Oh, damn it. Oh, thanks for the happy new year, get man. Like, I appreciate that. Have you guys all got new year plans? Like, are you all excited for the new year? This is the last stream of 2016. It still feels weird, doesn't it? It's been an incredible year for the channel, though. I've had such amazing support from all of you guys and I really appreciate all of your comments, all of your likes, just you guys watching now really means a lot to me. I mean, I'd be happy with just like, you know, a few people watching, but there's like 2,000 of you, which is just crazy. So I'm going to put the poison she gave me. I want to see if she like gives me something if I use these poisons. So Lotus Extract. I reckon this is going to insta-kill him. Yeah. Oh, I missed! Okay, I'm reloading. Fuck that. There's no way, man. That that hit him. I want to see if you get a reward for doing it, because I can't remember if you have to use it on it. Ah, damn it. That was going to hit him, man. I even got a kill cam. Why does Skyrim have to snake me like that? Okay, I'm going to get out of the way of the chair this time. I'm going to save the game. Don't snake me, Skyrim. <laughs> Please. Hey, this is gonna hit him this time. Thank you. Why is that not hitting him? What what is going on? My graphics are good because I got an EMB mod and like lots of texture mods as well. But this guy, man. No, you're in the way. You're blocking. You're blocking him. Okay, they can see Lydia, but they can't see me. I am basically invisible. This guy's aiming a bow at me. That's right. Oh! Bulls. Why is it so hard to get a sneak attack on someone who is directly in front of you? Okay, Lotus Extract. I've got that. Got that. This is good. Good. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for this guy to walk past me. He's in the way still. Yeah, finally. He's dead. Okay, great. You can be the next to die. Oh, okay. Hello. Lydia's getting beaten up by that damn thug there. This guy's just receiving tens of arrows into the back. Oh, he's dead. There we go. I don't even know what this guy's doing, man. Like, he was aiming at me earlier. Didn't even fire a shot. Sorry, Lydia. Take him out. Oh, Lydia! You shot him in the knee and he just died. Legit, I swear you... Yeah. You, she legit aimed for his knee. You can see the arrow there. You guys see it? There, there. Like, she aimed for his knee and he just died. That was sick. Okay. Iron arrows. Thank you very much. I'm happy now. He died like he should have arrow right through the heart there oh he's asleep let's set him on fire i like to burn all of my victims we goodbye i don't think um there are some chests and loot in this location i do believe i don't remember if there's anyone else around though i kind of just want to go get my gold for the contract if i'm honest guys some brooms and a chest oh another garnet i actually got less garnets from that chest than I got from um, the bandits outside, guys. Kind of sad. Kind of disappointed with that loot. Bandit plunderer. Come at me, bro. Oh, that didn't do as much. Lydia! Lydia's like, he can't see me here. Maybe if I stand very still until he hits me, he won't know I'm here. Oh, Lydia. Yeah, that's it. Finish him off. Go on, Lydia. I believe. I believe, Lydia! Oh, okay. Use your sword. Try using your sword. Go on. Come on. Enough. Why is he not dead, Lydia? Why are you playing with the poor man? A genuine like Lydia. Like leave Lydia to her own devices. No. Are you prepared to die? Like this? Lydia's literally just playing with this guy. Lydia, why aren't you gonna kill him? Come on. Come on, Lydia. He's literally healing back up. Mercy. I'll kill you if I have to. 
I don't think you want to kill him though, do you, Lily? I think you fancy the orb. No. Okay, I'll, I'll just end his misery. Because you're embarrassing us here, Lydia. He's just like, literally, I'm just going to torment him. Keep getting him down on the ground. Let him run away a bit. And then, like, get him down on the ground again. You're just brutal, Lydia. I didn't think it was, um... Like, this, this game should be, like, 18 plus. We've got, like, Lydia doing that to people. Jesus. Any more bandits in here? I'm wary of the... Weema traps that we're going to find in this area. So take care. Oh! This is actually a dungeon. Let's do it. Goodbye. <laughs> Hulk! I think there is a unique weapon in this dungeon, but I can't remember to be sure. We've got to go back and talk to her later, though before we complete the quest and then we'll go back to Astrid after. Oh shit, I knew there was- oh god, hello! He is very tanky. Unrelenting force shot. Don't remember it works on them, if I'm honest. Lydia? Where's Lydia gone? I'm sorry about what I said, Lydia. Oh Jesus. Okay, this may be a problem. That didn't help me whatsoever. Where's Lydia gone? There she is. Thank God, Lydia. Oh my God, there are so many of them. We're not going to be able to do this easily. I think Lydia might die here, guys. It's not good. Lydia, I believe in you. Come on. I know you play with your enemies, but these ones actually need to die. Come on, Lydia. You can do this. Oh, she's just tanking those, those dwarven... Sophia shots to the head there. Oh, wow. We actually did this, Lydia. Well done. I'm so glad that they've made it so they dropped Dwarven bolts as well, because that used to not be a thing. You used to only be able to get bolts from the Dawn Guard. It was like, oh my god, come on. No one else uses them. I can see you, you sneaky spider. Oh, you guys want me to get the unique weapon from Alan's corpse, yeah. He has a unique weapon on one called Eggsbane, but um... Oh, I always forget about this. Alright, let's save the game, because I'm a sucker for these traps. How do you get past them again? Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Am I, am I okay? Lydia will now show you how it's not meant to be done. Come on, Lydia. That's it. Crawl towards the spinning blade. Yeah, that's right. Go on, run right at it. That'll work. Right, come on, Lydia. Quickly, Lydia. Quickly. Oh, God. Oh, she got killed again. Oh, no. She tanked that. Look. She doesn't even care. She don't care. What is that? Oh, it's a sphere. Oh, get that sneak cow kill cam shot. It's really funny when you, like, sneak attack them. I'll just hop over that silly little trap. That was very obvious. I do believe there's a little secret passage you can go down. Yep, there is a chest up. Novice lock. I think, I believe I can do this. We're good. We are good. Aversion to fire. Yes, please. Now we have a 40% necklace. Oh my god, Lydia. Well, well, bloody well done. You just literally brought this Dwarven Sphere right next to me, so he discovered me. You're just so rude, aren't you, Lydia? There we go, now he's dead. Stop it, Lydia. Why do you have to always do that? I can't wait until we join the Dawn Guard so I get to use a crossbow. Right now I'm just using this annoying Forsworn bow. Can't see any more constructs around here. You don't actually have to go through this as part of the quest. I do believe it takes you down to Blackreach. And if it does, we're just going to head right out. Oh, Deep Market. That is somewhere in Blackreach. Oh, fuck me. Pull the lever. Don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> oh, God, it wasn't a good idea. Lydia, where are you? Lydia, where are you? 
Oh Jesus. Oh! What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> what was that? Was there like a trap there? There was actually a trap there, okay. Oh yeah, like literally just label them into that trap. That was hilarious though guys, like... Did oh, what? That was sick. I literally just killed them using the their own trap against them. That was so cool. Bloody hell. This location keeps going on and on. <laughs> Got some Falmer now. My favourite kind of snow elves. Well, they're not snow elves anymore, are they? He's coming at me. He knows I'm there, but he can't see me. Bloody blind. And uh, gold. Um, uh, oh, Nordic arrows. How big is this location? Oh, he's coming. He's dead. He got wrecked. Why do I act like I've never played before? <laughs> no, I'm just having fun. Like, seriously. It'd be boring if I just sat here. Well, actually, no, this is just how I play the game. <laughs> Elven bow! Thank god, we can finally have a better bow. I know I could have got this bow from Whiterun ages ago, but I thought that would be kind of overpowered, but about now is a good time to pick that up right now. So, we are taking that with me. I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, Jesus Christ, there is someone else. Spoke too soon. Oh, hello. Booty shot. Oh, right in the shoulder. He was just spinning around in circles. He didn't know what was going on, bless him. Do you have any gold? They all have like 10 gold each. I'm kind of enjoying that. Uh, this, there's a lever somewhere then. Must be. Must be over there. There we go. Archery skill level 76. I do believe... Well, let's level up first because people are already telling me to do that. We'll go 200 health. That like rounds it out really nicely. And now I want to have a look at my archery skill and overdraw level 80 is needed. Bullseye, 15% chance of paralyzing a target, but it also adds a glitch into the game, which is kind of annoying. So we're not going to get that yet until I install a mod that fixes it. I'm just going to wait until we've got 80 archery and then I'll spend that perk point. Uh, boss chair, so we go. Sapphire. Still getting more value from those goats, guys. Here's the lever. That should drop that down there. Now we can proceed onwards. Ha ha. I like how I was doing the Dark Brotherhood quest line. And, like, guys, if you want to continue with the Dark Brotherhood quest line, I suggest skipping ahead in this video if you're watching it after the stream. Because, um, otherwise, you're just watching a dungeon walkthrough right now. <laughs> Got a bit carried away with the location, but it was totally banter, so oh well. I can't remember what EMB I'm using, actually. It's a good one, though. My favourite EMB for the old Skyrim was um, the Wilds. Watch out for that pressure plate just there, guys. When in doubt, jump on top of the uh, pipework. I do believe this steam does damage as well, so take care. Oh, I remember this location. I used this location for my Dwarven Centurion build or whatever I called it. It's like a tank build. This is just a really cool sort of atmospheric area I really like. I swear to God, this is probably going to lead me to Blackreach. Oh, this puzzle. Mm. Damn it. Can't remember what this puzzle is. Okay. Honestly, don't remember. Is that it? Okay. Apparently I remembered. No. There's, there is a boss battle here. So you have to take these parts out of the cogs. I actually, I remember where this is going now. This is actually a, another quest. 
And uh, how do you lock a Falmer? Oh, Jesus Christ, hello. How do you lock a Falmer gate? So, yeah, guys, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys want to do this quest for yourself, I'll link it down below in the description. But I'm not going to do it on the video now because it's a very long quest. And you also need to go and get some other parts. So, I'll link it down below in the description if you do want to finish it. And also, I want to go find Lydia because I've lost her again. Yeah, again, watch out for this pressure plate at the uh, top of the stairs there. Uh, we should just be able to run out of it. But um, we are going to go back and actually go back to the point of this video, which was doing the Dark Brotherhood questline, which I got very distracted from. Ooby doo. Do I have any stamina potions? Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Mark for death. Well, in sprint. Run up here then. There is another. No, it's just. I thought there was a chest down there. There was not. I lied. Carefully follow this down here. I feel like some of the traps in Skyrim could be better, for sure. Shout out to Lydia. She's. Oh, look! She's. This is where Lydia is. She's trying to save my ass all the way back here. Okay. Lydia, you savage. Oh, okay, looks like we're going down. Ah! Damn you. <laughs> Goodness sake. I got tripped up there. Oh, I hate these things. Chop, chop, there we go. You can sometimes run past that one, actually. I should, probably should have just done that. Do we try and jump it? Whee! <laughs> it worked. Oh, goodness sake, Lydia. We should actually probably wait for her, because otherwise she might get trapped in this dungeon. Come on. Oh, she's like stuck there, isn't she? She just doesn't care, look. She's like, oh, just take that to the kneecap, mate. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, let's, I really want to go and return this quest and see if she cares that I used her crappy lotus poison that does six damage for ten seconds. And see if she like she's like, oh yeah, my poison's really good, isn't it? Here's some more. And I'll be like, okay, hey, thanks, I'll never use this again. I do believe there are some treasure chests up. Oh actually that is a I think you can actually use these to kill the bandits. I can't remember if you can activate them or not. Oh you can, yeah. You can use that to kill them as well. Which is pretty bloody sick if you ask me. That's pretty awesome. There's quite a few of those around the game, but they don't... Oh, we don't want to go that way. Do we, Lydia? Oh, okay, well, maybe Lydia's going that way. We're just going to take a shortcut outside. Good, happy new year to you as well, man. Run! <laughs> well, it doesn't get set on fire, then. Desargo is indeed bay. Lydia is a brute. Oh yeah, I forgot Eggsbane, but we don't need it, you know. It doesn't matter. To me, anyway. I told you guys it was on his corpse if you want to grab it. Okay, so now we can go back to Bay, and she'll be like, Yo, you killed two people, um, because I was angry at them, had a bit of a tiff with them. So I thought, well, I'll do the Black Sacrament so well, you can go and assassinate them. Because the I'm just an absolute savage. And now I'm going to pay for it, so we'll go chat to Bay again. Is she over here? Okay. There she is. Let's have a conversation about her next well, to the guard. What news? Is Elaine? Elaine Dufont. Allies dead. Thank you. Jesus. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment, and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Your affection? Oh, she's giving me a ring as a special reward. Let's have a look at this ring, guys. Uh, begins with an M. Created potions of 15% more powerful. I do believe that you might be able to disenchant this and use it to get the Fortify Alchemy enchantment. Just so you know, guys. Okay, now we've done that, we can go back to Astrid. Astrid. 
the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. But guys, let's see what she gives us as a reward for completing this quest. Hello there. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Oh, uh, well, it was. Actually, it was Nazir's contract for funner because we battled a dragon. We ah, slaughtered. You're back. Oh, yeah, okay, so, you don't have to repeat what you just said. I'm still here. Real contract? I live only to serve. Hail Sithis. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. You, my dear, are going to fit in here quite nicely. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. Something wrong... Well, okay, before we start oh, this, well, guys, because I'm going to end the stream here now, and we will do the next episode next week in the new year, so it'll be the first stream of 2017. I almost forgot, I was about to say 2016. One of those things where you go back to school and you're like, I don't go to school anymore, but when I used to, you go back to school and you're like, oh, I have to write 2017 every day now in the top right corner. And it's just like, oh, it's so weird. So 2017, the first stream will be part two of the Dark Brotherhood and we will carry on with this quest line. So I'm definitely excited to do that. Another thing I want to do with you guys is play through some new games. So I want to start like live streaming random games. We're going to do finish off the Skyrim live stream first, probably. And then we'll start live streaming other games. Like Doom is a game I want to play through. They're just like fun games I, I can play on stream. And we're also going to be doing some more like fun Skyrim streams. Like the last one where we do like a thief challenge and that kind of stuff. But anyway guys, I hope you all have a absolutely fantastic new year and you have a good time with your family or friends or whatever you're doing for new years if you have a great time guys but please do like the video if you did enjoy it subscribe if you want to see more you can also follow me on facebook instagram and twitter where i usually like post updates on what projects i'm working on and all that good kind of stuff links for that are down below in the description but thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video